Hey, what's up everybody? This is always back with another video on the channel. As you can see on the screen, I've got this uh, Dice Roll Snake game. Basically, I need to change the name. It's actually Snakes and Letter, the old classic game. So I created this a couple of days ago and uh, I'm still working on it. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I just want to uh, announce that I'll be doing a live tutorial of this Snakes and Letter game uh, in a couple of days. If I have more than 40 to 50 people want to watch this uh, live stream, so let me show you the game so we have two players player one and player two there's two buttons there we have the label here which will show us what are the random number we generate so whatever the number we generate we will move our player to the next point and the first player that reaches to 100 will win the game now i haven't finished the programming for these letters and snakes i mean if the player one comes to three it should uh, jump from three to 39 uh, I'm still working on it, but uh, with the live tutorial, I'll make sure that we will finish this game from uh, start to end. So now let's look at the game. I'm going to click on start game, and now it's suddenly game started. Now I can click on player one, and as you can see, I've got four. So from here, it's going to jump four steps. So one, two, three, four. Now if I click on player one, it's not going to work because it's uh, player two turn now. Let's click on player two and there you go, player two got five. So it's jump from here, one to five. Now again player one. And as you can see, the number two and the letter didn't work because I need to finish the functionality for that. But uh, we will do that in a live tutorial. So I'm going to click on player two. It's got six. It went to the 12. Player one, player two. So as you can see, the animation is pretty smooth. I'm using the JavaFX uh, uh, Java framework for animating this stuff, so it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn this game, make sure you join me with the live tutorial I'm going to be doing probably tomorrow. I'll create an event as soon as possible so you will get notified. So if you want to get notified, make sure you turn on the notification on my channel so you will get notified. So this is the game and uh, we will be building this game and I'm gonna be trying to clear up a few concept in um, JavaFX game development because uh, a lot of people will is, is confused about other games I've made on the channel that is why I've decided to do a live tutorial so if you have any question you can ask me live so I can answer you guys while I'm creating this game so this is the code if anyone wants this code it's not ready yet but uh, once I'm done with the code I will post that on to GitHub and then you can get the link in a description of the live stream video. So that's it for this video guys and let me show you quickly if we play this game completely and let's see who wins. So we'll pop up the message as well. If the player 1 wins then the game will stop automatically. As you can see we're getting a random number and then I will try to cover how to create the actual dice. Right now we're getting numbers, but we can add PNG files such as one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we get six, we'll see the six uh, numbers on the dice as an image. That's very easy if you understand the basic idea how to create this kind of games. Uh, you probably be, you will be able to do some basic editing or basic modification of this game according to. Uh, your liking. So let's finish the game. I'm actually gonna keep clicking. And now, if we play one is winning, and let's see who wins. Whoops, now it's a chance for. Alright, so now we got that. Play two, and there you go. So now we got player one of one. And now the game has stopped. If I click on these buttons, it's not gonna work. We need to start the game. If I click on start again, both player will come to the one. So the basic functionality is done, but uh, I just have to do this. Well, I will do that in a live tutorial on how to make sure that if the player one or player two comes to this snake number 47, then it should just move to number 25. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. I just wanna make an announcement that uh, I'll be doing this tutorial live. If I have like enough people so let me know in the comments below if I have like 45 comments and 45 people want to watch this 40 I mean 30 to 40 people that's good enough 
then I will do the live otherwise I will just create a video of this uh, tutorial all right thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one chase